it is now time to install the 151st president of the South Carolina Medical Association. Remember, we started all this back in 1848, and so uh, we, we are uh, looking to Andy to uh, lead us in the next year. Dr. Taylor. I solemnly swear that I shall carry out the duties of the president of the South Carolina Medical Association to the best of my ability. I solemnly swear that I shall carry out the duties of the president of the South Carolina Medical Association to the best of my ability. I shall strive constantly to maintain the ethics of the medical profession and to promote the public health and welfare. I shall strive constantly to maintain the ethics of the medical profession and to promote the public health and welfare. I shall dedicate myself in my office to maintaining quality health care for all South Carolinians. I shall dedicate myself and my office to maintaining quality health care for all South Carolinians. And to the task of improving the training and education of physicians. And to the task of improving and training and educating of physicians. I shall uphold the Constitution and bylaws of the South Carolina Medical Association at all times. I shall uphold the Constitution and bylaws of the South Carolina Medical Association at all times. Um, I shall champion the cause of freedom in the medical practice and fairness to all South Carolinians. I shall champion the cause of freedom in medical practice and fairness to all South Carolinians. To these duties and obligations, I pledge myself, so help me God. To these duties and obligations, I pledge myself, so help me God. I now declare that you are duly installed as the 151st president of the South Carolina Congrat <laughs> Medical Association. <laughs> The journey for me to here is, to this point, it's been a long and winding road that's taken a lot of wonderful highs and disappointing lows. I've been uplifted by the spirit of caring I've witnessed and been equally appalled by the cruelty and indifference that we can show towards our fellow man. As physicians, we must be prepared to see life at its best and its worst and try to help our patients cope no matter what their plight might be. We're in the business of adaptation and change. New drugs, new surgical tools and techniques, new research and studies, and even new laws challenge us to adapt and change to deliver the best care that we can. I've been very fortunate to be able to serve my fellow physicians, to watch the SCMA grow, and adapt to the ever-changing delivery of health care. I'm proud that you've entrusted in me the honor of helping to guide our efforts to promote the best and safest health care for the citizens of South Carolina. We also need to be very good stewards of our profession. Our actions in our professional as well as our personal lives affect so many people and those effects can be very subtle. I remember my first year in medical school, Dr. Richard Hellman gave us a rather philosophical talk on gastroenterology and life. And even to this day, that was almost 30 years ago, I still remember that talk. Dr. Neistat really doesn't even remember, but he was the first surgeon that really let me assist on a case when I, was a, when I was a junior in medical school. And it was very special to me. I have patients stop me in the halls and say, you don't remember me, but you gave me an epidural four years ago, and you were very nice, and it worked very well, and you, you made a really big difference to me. <laughs> so I try to tell aspiring young physicians to just listen to the patients, and they'll tell you everything that you need to know. So often we don't listen to them like we should. In years past, physicians have been their own worst enemies sometimes. We have allowed government entities, private insurers, and petty issues to come between us. We have often used the admonishment to our SCMA members to circle the wagons, but remember, do not shoot in, shoot out. In coming months, I hope the issues that confront the SCMA and its members will prompt us to form a unified front. Many other health care providers would like to be able to practice pediatrics, anesthesia, family medicine, obstetrics, and orthopedics through legislation, but not education. The SCMA represents 10,000 physicians of all specialties in South Carolina. That's why our motto is, the voice of one, the power of many. Thank you.